Hi Gemini, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for June 10th to the 16th. I'm using the Light Sears Tarot today and then I'm going to pull eight cards. I'll tell you the significance of the placements as I go, followed by some love oracle cards and a few other oracle cards. All right, so this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus <clears throat> for June 10th to the 16th. Can we please get a reading? Thank you so much. Can you please get a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. Just want to say happy birthday, Gemini. Hope you guys are enjoying your birthday so far. I hope you have a wonderful year. Wish you all the best. I apologize for not being here earlier. I am um, observing a religious holiday because I'm Buddhist, so it is Vesak for us. So I've been away. All right, so this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. A few more shuffles and I'll cut the deck. What is in store for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for... Ooh, whoa, 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 look at that. All right. Queen of Pentacles, Star, Hangman, Ace of Swords. How many cards are there? Seven. Okay. So this is a side read here. Let's check the one on the bottom. All right. Overcoming here. There's six of wands. There's the five of wands that comes before this. So... I'm seeing if this is not a mother figure for you, Queen of Pentacles, it could be a Capricorn that's in your life. But really, I feel like this is you, Gemini. It's speaking to a mature woman, possibly a very motherly energy. This is wifey. This is the mom. Um, someone who is the matriarch, powerful, the queen of her castle. Someone who is um, a mother figure. Okay, you might have children, basically. And, and also very established, solid, dependable, nurturing, kind, um, a businesswoman, all those types of things. So this is the Queen of Pentacles energy, followed by the star. So this could be, for some of you, indicating success and fame. For others, it could be the stars referencing a wish. And I like getting the star card because for birthdays, especially uh, when you get the wish card for birthdays it might be something that you've been hoping for maybe you're treating yourself maybe someone's getting it for you something that you've been wanting and then um, this coming true for your birthday otherwise it's speaking to that kind of long-term faith that you have in some dream that you want to see fulfilled and pursuing that and that's just saying that if you just stick to um the plan stick to your path and keep on going that it will come true okay so for others it could just mean financial independence success fame all those types of things as well okay because a star card can indicate you know being famous <clears throat> hangman here is the card of sacrifice um the hangman is saying that you feel stuck or you're sticking around in a relationship that benefits other people okay so this card comes up sometimes when you outgrow a relationship and you stick around because it might not be the best time for the other person to be left on their own okay they might not be where you're at in terms of letting go so this is when you stick around in a relationship longer than you want to because you want to make sure that the other person's going to be okay or you stay in a relationship because you want your children to be okay you don't want to Give them a big upheaval right now because of everything else that's going on. So the hangman is an energy, a major arcana energy, a card of sacrifice and feeling stuck. Ace of Swords, though, is showing clarity, focus, victory, speech, speaking up for yourself. So speaking up for yourself, letting them know, creating good boundaries, cutting off those that don't serve in your best interests and seeing through everything very clearly. Then we have another earth energy. We have the Empress. Now, if this is not you, um, this could be about, you know, fertility, pregnancy, um, <clears throat> and major creativity. 
this Empress card is like all the queens combined. The Empress card is speaking to artistic um, ventures. This is like whatever it is that you do, if it's creative, if it's inspired, giving birth to some new project, something creative, and it's going to be successful. This is what's on your mind. This is what you want to manifest. It looks like something that you've been wishing for, something that's a long-held dream. So the Empress card is say giving birth to that. It's a card of major transformation in the way of creativity, creating, Mother Earth energy, giving birth, that type of thing. Major arts, um, love, nurturing, beauty, Venus, all that type of energy. So we have Five of Wands over here. And the Five of Wands comes before the Six of Wands. And this is compared to separating um, the crud from the gold. Okay, this is here. It'll show people play fighting when they're practicing to become um, a warrior or a soldier or a fighter or something. And they're playing with sticks and they're kind of going at it because they want to perfect their skills and it separate, you know, it, it basically makes you level up. And the Six of Wands comes when you level up. This is when you get a raise, when you get recognized for what you've been doing. Um, <clears throat> popularity is a major thing. So I'm seeing a theme of, yeah, fame, popularity, or like great success after coming through something, okay, some kind of trial, some kind of difficulty. The Five of Wands can be overcoming insecurity here because you've got this clarity feeling stuck and then you go oh from being stuck and sacrificing all the finally standing up for yourself speaking your truth because it is a card of truth and then cutting off what no longer serves you making you know that new life for yourself something that you've been wanting so the five of wands it might show that there's conflict with other people arguing people might not be happy for you they might be jealous there might be petty arguments in love and romance it could be sometimes when Two people are trying to show how in demand each other is. And then it kind of puts the other one off and it becomes a toxic kind of a relationship between the two of you. Um, Nine of Wands is the card of the Wounded Warrior. This card is blocking. Um, this card comes up in love and relationships. Let's say if you have children and so you don't want to let people in. You have a guard up. You're being vigilant because maybe you got burned last time. It didn't work out or for whatever reason. And so... Now you are protecting what's yours. Vigilant about it. This is Nine of Wands can come up when when it's next to this Five of Wands fighting. Okay. And this is Ace of Swords standing up for yourself. It could be where you need to speak up. Okay. You're going to get some kind of pushback. And then here to stand your ground and stay vigilant. Okay. So Nine of Wands, especially right now, I would say like if people are going through some issues with other people, just be other people, just because it's a difficult time. When this card comes up, just because of the times, I would say, yeah, be careful and stay vigilant. You know, it could be just a petty fight or something, or it could be like, you know, there might be something else. Like, you know what your situation is. So Nine of Wands is literally standing guard. Okay. And, and a card of blocking. Let's take a peek underneath that. This work. So I'm seeing great success at work, okay? If it's love and relationships, wanting to make things work out, okay? Being the bigger person here. Could be you're dealing with a water sign. Page of Swords, maybe they're watching you. All right, let's see. Let's go back into the shuffle. So we got these cards, and usually the way it plays out is when I get a drop, it comes right back around in your reading. All right, Gemini, this is for you for June 10th to the 16th. Let's get back to the main reading. For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th, please. Thank you so much. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. What love and romance messages are there for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th? All right, let's cut the deck. Okay, first card is you. There you are, Ace of Pentacles. Next card is your love interest, the Fool. The situation between you two, Four of Wands, nice. Outcome, Five of Wands, so there it is. Um, how you see them, the world, how they see you. Ace of Swords again. What's your challenge or obstacle here? 
the five of cups what's their challenge or obstacle <laughs> you okay there it is love or gemini oh my god the nine of cups the wish card okay so we saw the star before in the drop and i was saying if it's not about fame it's some kind of long-held wish speaking to birthdays especially it's nice blah 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 so the nine of cups is the official wish card like wish fulfillment as you can see look how happy this person is oh my goodness somebody's really happy this is making a decision a realization a judgment calls this could also speak to somebody coming back from the past somebody you thought was long gone and it's like an epiphany something that you it finally clicks and it changes everything um nine of cups here is you see this woman how happy she is right she doesn't look very well to do she's got some scars on her feet she's like a little bit um scruffed up her clothes don't look that nice but she's got a chest full of treasure so this is wish fulfillment imagine how you would feel if you had hard times and all of a sudden you get wish fulfillment like that a chest full of treasure so this is what's at the bottom of the deck underlying energy is some long-held wish coming true for you you have the energy here of ace of pentacles it looks like you want to offer a commitment or a relationship this is the seed to start something and grow something that's going to be lasting which would get to ten of pentacles which is um, legacy you know something that will be so solid that it will benefit generations to come and while you want to offer this relationship the other person that you're dealing with the fool card there's someone who it's they're going through a fresh new clean slate start okay they have some new beginning for them this one's got uh this crystal and a wand and she's jumping back there's some sacred geometry here the fool card is generally about innocence purity sometimes on a higher vibration it's likened to enlightenment this is where the fool doesn't have to have 17 bags of luggage following them because they know they have that faith in the divine that they'll be fine no matter where they go so there's an innocence to the fool and there's also a faith to the, the faith to the fool now also the faith uh the fool is about a new beginning starting something new clean slate so this is a major arcana card this is a major new phase for them now between you two there is the four of wands the four of wands is speaking to a reunion i feel like this is about a reunion because if you're in a relationship it's saying this is the happy home card where you have stability you are the house that everybody wants to gather at for all the major you know um holidays this is the place where you know everybody goes this is a solid couple couple goals if you're not in a relationship this four of wands speaks to rites of passage like graduation weddings gatherings meeting someone at a wedding now the outcome is five of wands i talked about five of wands already looks like the problem here between you two is this conflict and i talked about the conflict which could be in love and romance because it's wands energy fire energy as inspiration passion um action so the five of wands is conflict conflict where it can be about insecurity self-doubt and that causes arguments fighting um pettiness petty fights competition jealousy in love and romance competition and jealousy okay creating conflict so there is that kind of a mistrust and this energy that has to be worked through now how you see them is the world card okay they might be somebody who either likes to travel lives long distance it might be a cyber love type thing where you've met on the internet on a dating website or something um, it could be somebody who is a kind of very concerned with um, global issues like conservation or protecting nature whatever okay the world card also speaks to conclusions um, and the end of a cycle so you're right that's how you see them they are going through something new and you see both these people they have their hands stretched out and they look like 
they're embracing what's coming. They, they're going through, their energy is going through a new start. You see them as having completed their old cycle. Like when you go to university, you graduate and then you have to get a job or you have pregnancy for 10 months, then you have to have your baby. There's a natural next step. So the universe, sorry, the world card is saying that there is something that's been in a long process that got completed. So they've completed some cycle in their life. Or it could speak to also someone who's very cultured, someone who's like, you know, globe trotting kind of person who likes to travel, someone who is perhaps long distance or an internet romance. This is how you see them. How they see you is Ace of Swords. So they see you as someone who's sharp, straightforward, um, very focused, honest, and possibly a little bit um, quick to cut off those who are not for your not beneficial to you. So the, that's someone. The Ace of Swords is truth, victory, clarity. When you get the Ace of Swords, just look at the spiral staircase coming out of her mind and the light speaking to having seeing through all the BS and, and seeing right to the point. That's how they see you. Someone who's laser focused. Now your challenge or obstacle here is this five of cups. Their challenge or obstacle is the lover's card. The five of cups energy here Instead of showing two cups that are upright properly and three cups to the side, it's showing three cups that are empty that are smaller. And then the relationship that she's got going on right now, the two, two cups that are should be upright, she's very disrespectfully just watching it drain down this little sinkhole drain with her foot. She's like just wearing all gray, depressed, and not really giving whichever way it goes. So this is how you see them as somebody who is, first of all, dissatisfied with some part of their life where they can't get over it. Something from their past, a past relationship, something along those lines. And so while you keep your heart protected, while you keep, uh, well, they keep their heart protected, let's say, sorry, um, your heart, this is your challenge. While you keep your cup nice and full to the side, you really just let things like, go down the drain and you don't really have much respect for the person that you're with. Okay. So that's your challenge or obstacle. This is just kind of just letting things, you know, go into this, like down the drain with your relationships because something in the past has affected you. That loss of the three of cups, three of cups is a celebratory card. It's a card of community relationships, dating, social life, going out, all those types of things. So there might be some loss here that it's just, left you where you're like numb, depressed, and not caring about what happens. Their challenge or obstacle is a lover's card. This is the card of Gemini. So it could be you that they have a problem with. The lover's card is also about making a choice. Um, and it might be just whether it's you having to make a choice in love or it's love at point blank period. They have an obstacle with it. Okay. Let's pull some Love Oracle cards to get some more clarity. I'm going to use the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue first. Can we get it? <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So you got give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, because there's arguments. But what's between you two is stability, right? The Four of Wands. That's the happy home. And if it's not something that you're already, oh, okay. So the happy home turns to the five of wands. The solid happy home turns into five of wands conflict. All right. So it's saying to give your relationship a chance. Don't just throw it all away because you're going through something. You might be going through some kind of depression or some kind of loss due to what's been going on, on in the world. Whatever loss you've gone through, it's saying, it's left you so upset. Maybe you can't even talk about it. You're just like letting this thing drain. You're like, uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Look how, look at her face. Just totally. 
wasting it, doesn't care, right? So it's saying to make the effort, give it a chance. Let's pull uh, an Amira's Love Oracle card. This is for Gemini, please. Can we get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For June 10th to the 16th in Love and Romance, what do they need to know? What does Gemini need to know? What guidance is there for Gemini, please? Thank you so much for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I hope it's not this, like if you guys are having some kind of party or a gathering with the Four of Wands, just because you see these two dancing with a tambourine and so on outside in a tent, okay, it looks like Coachella or something. If In case you guys are celebrating and it's your birthday, it could lead to a fight, okay, with a Five of Wands for that week. Could lead to a fight, and I, I would say because of jealousy. Okay, there might be too many people trying to get your attention or there might be somebody in their life trying to get their attention and you guys are like just playing too many games. There we go. New love. Oh no. New love. New love. Triangle. There it is. That's that five of wands. Okay. Next level. So there's a new love coming into your life. This is what's causing the fighting and the jealousy. And the challenge or obstacle for the person you're with is the lover's card. It could be somebody, it could be a new love for them. Because it doesn't look like it is for you. And it's going to be a love triangle. Okay? with You see this woman choosing between two people. Okay, that's quite obvious. And this is her book for this deck. These... It literally just kind of quickly describes what the card is and we, we can see and this deck is meant to be used intuitively. So, I mean, I can check. Let's see triangle. External influence, interference, indecision, choices, love, tryst, infidelity, more than one person in the relationship, sharing your love interest with another person, family or friends involved that create friction and confusion, more than one lover that you're involved with that creates confusion or choices, right? Very straightforward. And then new love, new person entering your life, new love, new phase of your life, moving on to next chapter of your life, happiness, renewed love for yourself and your life. All right. So you have the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is about some long held wish you've had. I'm going to just pull another card from the romance angels for this card. Can we get one more card, please? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for this relationship. Can we get some more? Clarity here, please. Thank you so much. It's for Gemini, June 10th to the 16th. The love and romance. For Gemini, summon, there we go. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Okay. This is another card of long distance travel. Release your ex. The time has come to clear the energy. And I'm going to put that out there because that's what this um, card looks like. For your issue, the three cups that are spilt. Not being over it, numb, so letting everything else just go to, you know, poop after that because you're just not present. So it's saying honeymoon is if you're getting uh, married, right, it, that you're going to go on your honeymoon, very straightforward. And if you are married already to take a trip, it's going to be beneficial for you to, to you know, have some quality time alone. The vacation is going to be very healing. And then for those of you who are single, it's saying that when you travel and you go on a trip, that you're going to meet this person. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And here, this is really serious because this like is letters and stuff that they've received from their ex and saying like, you got to go to the point where you cut cords and you burn all their stuff. Okay, that's how intense this card is saying you need to let them go burn it throw it out all that and so with give your relationship a chance it's just going to flip in a whole bunch of different ways for some of you if you're trying to work it out good for you it's saying for those of you give it a chance don't let this you know 
break up you and your romantic interest. Because a trip will heal things. Your vacation or time alone, whatever. It will heal things. For those of you who are done, like your challenge rocks with just watching it go down the drain, right? For others of you, it's saying this love triangle is going to cause a problem because they're ready to start fresh. And their issue is the lovers. Whether it be their issue is you because you bumped into somebody new or whether it's them because they bumped into someone new, okay? We will find out. I'll, I'll pull some more cards but it, it is your reading, okay? So it does look like it's a new love and a love triangle that's going to be created here. Let me just clarify this Five of Wands. I'm going to use the um, <clears throat> Shadowscapes Tarot deck. Is a Book of Shadows or something? Book of Shadows? Something like that. I forget. Can we get a card to clarify this Five of Wands, please? Can we please get a card to clarify this Five of Wands? There we go. Okay. So we got five of pentacles and six of wands. We got six of wands earlier in the drop as well on the bottom of the deck. Five of pentacles is easy come, easy go. Lack of faith, lack of trust. Meeting people in bars, quick hookups, quick relationships, fast love, not able to open up, not able to commit and invest in someone else because of whatever else has happened. Six of Wands, this is overcoming. After Five of Wands, there's Six of Wands, which is you make it through this difficulty, you overcome, and then you get a, a level up. This is a card of popularity, envy, people want to be like you, there's like couple goals, all that stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's going to work out. It looks like it's going to work out. Like Six of Wands, Six of Wands is a raise at work. It's being you know appreciated for your skills being you know looked up to raised up and then there's knight of wands on the bottom that is the card of somebody who is like the lover type okay very passionate excited at the time but not very committed all right let's pull some other decks this is the witchlings Oracle deck by Paulina Cassidy. Can we get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising? And okay, we have relaxation. Stop your world from spinning by partaking in well-deserved moments of relaxation. And then it fell on the honeymoon card, which is talking about going on a vacation. So maybe you need to go on a vacation and take a break. Euphoria is on the bottom. Euphoria is a cosmic connection to the magic within and around you. Lovely, but I'm just going to leave the relaxation, needing to relax. This is Botanical, sorry, this is Botanical Inspirations by Lynn Arujo. Arujo. This is for Gemini, please. Can we get a card for Gemini? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. What does Gemini need to know for June 10th to the 16th for love and romance? All right, we got three cards and it fell over here. Flocks, unanimity and harmony. He who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Marcus Aurelius. All right, we got that. Sweet pea, blissful pleasure. Follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there were only walls. Joseph Campbell. And then we have Sweet William. Gallantry, get, grant me a single smile. Sweet William Small has form and aspect bright, like the sweet flower that yields great Jove delight, Abraham Cowley. You guys take from that what you will. I'm just going to leave it just like that. It looks like to me, intuitively, feels like that's for three different people. Okay, because there's so many Geminis I watch. I feel like that was for three different people. All right, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. What spiritual guidance is there for? What guidance is there for Gemini? Sorry, this was flipped over from before. Um, this deck is called The Wild Kuan Yin by Alana Fairchild. It's the pocketbook, the smaller deck. I have the bigger one too, but I like these because the message is right on the card. Can we get a card, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th? What messages are there for Gemini? 
Okay. The loving push. Sacred grandmother will nudge you when you need to take a step, comfort you when you become uncertain, and provide the means for you to move towards your destination, which is, of course, your divine destiny. When you feel the divine pushing you, leap. So the loving push. Okay, so it's saying that sometimes you're staying somewhere, maybe perhaps for some of you with that drop that came out in the beginning with the hangman, when you're sacrificing of yourself, when you feel stuck, you know, when things get uncomfortable because of that, because the universe is kind of pushing you to do something else, and then it makes it very uncomfortable for you to stay in the same spot. This is saying from sacred grandmothers saying they're giving you a loving push and to trust and take the leap. Okay, I'm going to leave that over here. Let's pull um, the spiritual junkie oracle cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Uh, if you guys watch my channel, I've used her Miracles Now deck quite often. This is a new deck. Let's give it a spin. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For June 10th to the 16th, what card is there for Gemini? What message is there for Gemini, please? For Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th. All right. I am ready to go big, rise up, and step into my power. That I will leave over here. And on the bottom we've got, I cherish every cell in my body. I'm going to leave this over here. Next deck, <clears throat> this is the Denise Lynn deck. It's called uh, Sacred Forest. Got Pegasus on the cover. Came out end of May. This is for... Gemini. Can we get a card for Gemini, please? What does Gemini need to know for June 10th to the 16th, please? Thank you so much. What does Gemini need to know for June 10th to the 16th, please? Wise Woman of the Grove, Grace. And this looks like a First Nations woman in there, I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. Let's check it out. On the bottom, we've got Wolf Spirit Family. And I just tossed that around. Let's see. Number 49. And it opened right to it. So it's saying... The wise woman of the grove steps forward and hands you an intricately carved wooden box. This is my gift to you. Guard it well. With care, you open the box. Inside rests a perfect ruby. Look at that. Um, it sparkles in the light. This is a joy activator, she says. Hold it to your heart and all around you in all directions. All beings will relax and find joy in the moment. Joy is the great gift that you can give another. It is a gift of grace. When this card chooses you, you are at the advent of a remarkable time of ease, um, wisdom, healing, joy, and inspiration. Your ability to hear the voices of spirit is rapidly expanding. Spirit guardians are watching over you with immense love and kindness. In the state of grace means being blessed by divine forces. Grace can mean having enough inner nobility that even if you know your opinion is absolutely right, you don't push the point. You are willing to drop it, knowing that in the great scheme of things, it's not that important. Besides, the Creator knows the truth of the situation, even if others don't. There are times to be abruptly, starkly honest, but this isn't one of them. Be diplomatic and gracious in your interactions with others. Speak with love and kindness. 
The spirit of the wise woman of the grove says you can relax and let go. Your path is guided. Spiritual nobility is growing within you. The spirit of grace is softly unfolding in your life. Kindly honor the truth of others, even if you don't agree or if you know better. The creator knows the truth. I love this card. Oh my goodness. I was just thinking about this because I've been watching other tarot readers and stuff and it's Mercury retrograde right now. And <clears throat> basically, you know, it's not the time to be caught saying something wrong. Um, Mercury retrograde, they say double check, triple check everything you put out. Don't do anything big. Don't sign contracts. All this kind of stuff. Technology messes up. And apparently, like I was watching Wendy Williams, they were saying like all these different websites were screwing up the other day. So basically, what I'm trying to say is that when I was watching these different channels, there people were saying things that were like so wrong, so wrong. Okay, uh, and I was about to go on a little like, you know, internet warrior thing and, and, and comment and go, you shouldn't say this about it. That's not what really happened. But, and at the end of the day, it would have just caused problems and arguments and so on. And that's what you got here, five of wands fighting. It's saying here, you have this recognition from spirit, like the six of wands leveling up. You're being recognized for what you're doing. And it's saying sometimes it's not worth it to, just because you're right, doesn't mean you have to like, you know, use that ace of swords and cut someone up into a million pieces and make them feel small so that they know, you know, what they did wrong and with a little bit extra, you know, cherry on top. So to kind of temper that, you know, uh, that sword um, that you're swinging around, it's saying the sword cuts both ways. So be careful because you might cut off people that you need in the future as well. Okay, so to temper what you're saying, and also I love that this is, this is a fantastic card. What a beautiful card. I mean, this is like one of my favorite cards now. I love this. All right. Just gonna put it up here look at that don't have to shove it in other people's you know down other people's so it just be, because they're so wrong sometimes that you feel like you should this is amazing all right thank you all right let's get another card i'm gonna pull this is a new deck it's called heavenly bodies astrology by lily ashwell it comes with this beautiful book it's gorgeous now, it's got all these different, like, you know, planetary kind of conjunctions and houses and signs and everything. So I was like, I don't know how I'm going to use this, how this is going to practically apply in my readings because I'm not an astrologer. But somehow it still works and it still gives fantastic messages. So let's see, Gemini. This is for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th in Love and Romance, please. Can we get a... And some guidance for Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For June 10th to the 16th. And then after this, I think I'll just end it off with a goddess guidance oracle card by Dorian Virtue. Some spiritual guidance. We get a card for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th, please. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? There we go. Whole bunch. There you are, Gemini. Mercury. Mercury rules over Gemini. That's the intelligence, the information, that um, communication, all of that. Think, learn, network, and communicate. Also referencing Mercury retrograde and your birthday, all of that for Gemini. So be careful again with your speech and be mindful of Mercury retrograde. It's got the full moon over here and a butterfly transformation. Think, learn, network, and communicate. If you want to know all the other details, all you got to do is Google this deck and Google this card, and then they'll give you all the info. I'm not going to read it all. Conjunction, a union, merging and coming together. Gemini, <laughs> Gemini, curiosity, intellect, and networking. So if you were doubting if this is for you. And then you've got Virgo, integrity, reverence, and service. So this could be referring to Virgo's, you know, characteristics of integrity, reverence, and service, being of service. That might be what, you know, is something that you should be focusing on. 
Or it could be that you have an actual Virgo in your life that you're dealing with. Uh, Mars, move forward and defend self. Mars, move forward and defend self. Mars energy. So there's all these, these five cards. Take from it what you will. We've got Mercury and we've got Gemini. So this is how it came out. Mercury, conjunction, Gemini, Virgo, Mars. I'm just going to leave it like that. However it resonates for you, I'm not going to play astrologer. I do not know. All right, so let's leave that over here. On the bottom, we've got Chiron, hurt and heal. Chiron, my goodness, is the wounded um, healer. The person who could teach and heal everybody else except heal himself. All right. Let's pull a goddess guidance oracle card from Doreen Virtue. Final card of the day. Let's end it with a beautiful goddess. I haven't used this deck in so long. I missed you guys. Thank you so much. Can we please get a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th? What beautiful goddess is there that's going to <clears throat> give us a message for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June 10th to the 16th, please? Thank you so much. Message for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What spiritual guidance is there for Gem? There we go. Athena. I love it. Inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. So Athena, the Greek goddess, she's all about the goddess of war, intelligence, wisdom. Um, and it's saying, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom. Take appropriate action without delay. So this could be with your wisdom. And also, like I said, she's the goddess of war as well. War as well. So this conflict or this fight or argument, whatever you're going through, it's saying take appropriate action without delay. Don't sit on it. Don't wait on the bottom. Ooh, Sekhmet. Okay, so for some of you, you guys are really needing to um, let somebody have it. Because it says Sekhmet, be strong. You are stronger than you think you are and your strength assures a happy outcome. What that means is that She's, she's like that fire that burns, that burns through anything, you know, and whatever you're going through, it's saying that you're so strong that it doesn't matter what people throw at you because you'll just burn right through it. Sekhmet is the Egyptian goddess. She was said to protect women and children and bring lost children home. Usually they're, she's depicted with a lion face. Um, and she's someone who's very active still, goddess Sekhmet. When I started tarot, I would have, you know, quite a connection with this goddess. Athena as well. These are fantastic. Okay, so let's put both these beautiful goddesses up. And that is your reading, Gemini. It's saying that whatever you're dealing with, for those of you who need to hear this, if you're going through some kind of argument, fight, conflict, somebody's starting trouble, whatever, it's saying do not delay. It's saying that, you know, you've already been graceful in the sense that even though you know better, you've been the bigger person and not said anything just to be right or just to, you know, kind of even if it to check someone, you didn't do it. But at the same time, with these two energies, with Athena and Sekhmet, it's saying don't delay, take action, let them know. OK, it, be strong and don't let. This five of wands, in case it's people who are jealous or causing problems or whatever, and it's undermining your confidence, be strong. You can handle it. Goddess Sekhmet says, like, you're bigger than them. Burn right through. And that's it. That's your reading. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back with your June readings. Thanks for watching. Take care. Happy birthday. Bye for now.